we thank God it's Friday. We thank God for His goodness. We acknowledge that His His strength that we have used this week. We acknowledge that it is His mercies that we have used this week. We acknowledge that it is by His grace that we are all alive. And so we take this time and we want to honor Your name, O oh God, for Your protection of our lives, for feeding us, for preserving us, for protecting us. Sometimes we forget all that you do behind the scenes to keep us alive. On this Friday, we want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Thank you, God, for your protection. Thank you for giving us each day our daily bread. Thank you for delivering us, delivering us from all kinds of trappings of the enemy. And we are so grateful that your love is still showing in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. May God bless your weekend. May God favor you and your children. May God give you rest. May God give you all that you need that's pertaining to life and godliness. As you continue to love on him, you will not be disappointed. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to finish up our talk on nonverbal praise today and i believe that uh we've learned a thing or two and then also trust god for us to finish the month of august with total praise hallelujah to just praise god uh, i'm going to take two more i mean monday and tuesday to talk a little bit about how to write a song to the lord i want you to write a song before write some songs for yourself and sing to God a song that you wrote. I'm going to show you some tips and techniques on how to write a song and you can sing it to God as we wrap up the month of August. Alright, let's read from the book of Genesis. I spent Genesis with you this week just to give you some kind of fundamental things that can be used to understand what it means to give God non-verbal praise. Genesis chapter 1 verse 31 God looked at everything he had made and he was very pleased God looked at everything he has made he had made sorry and he was very pleased amen um, I want to share with you the last nonverbal praise it is basically an attitude of uh, an attitude of happiness so to speak i don't want to say joy but an attitude of happiness is i didn't mean you notice i didn't say happiness the attitude of happiness is a non-verbal praise you know god created everything and the bible says now god said this is good you know god was happy with what he has done right and god made it for God to be pleased with it is another action that God did. You understand? So that is a very in- interesting thing that he, I'm sure everything he does is perfect anyway, but for him to express how he feels about what he has done in that positive light is very, very powerful. And so I want to share that with you. I want to talk to those who don't like you, those who don't like the way, um, I want to talk to those who, kind of don't like anything about yourself you secretly despise everything about yourself look at my father look at my mother look at my brother like that you don't celebrate you you don't you are not a, a happy person being a happy person is a non-verbal praise You know, being uh, a joyful person, a person who celebrates yourself in such a way that there's always a smile on your face. There is always like uh, your countenance is always lively, and it's and I guess and it's not because everything is going well, but you understand that. If God is taking a selfie, you want to look good in it. 
Do you know some people, you see them and even their facial expression is a, is a kind of a facial expression that is not... It's like, the, you know, they don't look like good news is part of their life, so, so to speak. You understand what I mean? Having an attitude of happiness, of joy, is a non-verbal praise. Just as God is in the act of being excited about what he has done, being excited about life is also a non-verbal praise. Not being um, not being happy, not being joyful, not being uh, not celebrating your life, not finding the blessings in your life and celebrating them, not counting your blessings, not looking at the good things in your life and enjoying that is a sign that you are not producing non-verbal praise. So I want to tell you to be happy. I want to tell you to have an attitude of happiness because it's also a non-verbal praise. It, It pleases God when you are happy. And I'm trying to separate the attitude of happiness and just happiness in general. It's an attitude I'm talking about. You may not have something happening to make you happy, but your attitude in general is that kind of a happy attitude. You like yourself. A healthy like, not just overdoing it, but a healthy like of yourself. Don't despise your look. Don't despise your height. Don't despise your your skin don't despise your skill you know no matter what you do somebody will be better looking than you no matter what you do somebody will be skillful than you no matter what you do somebody will be more talented than you no matter what you do somebody will be more rich whatever somebody will be higher than you but god is pleased when what the little you have you are happy with it do you understand? And as a matter of fact, you can take good care of yourself to a point that you are happy with yourself. God didn't start the way it looked on the sixth day. It wasn't good on the first day. The Bible was not afraid to say that day one was horrible. You know, but he did it anyway. So you may not like a certain part of yourself, I understand. But you can have an attitude that is saying that I'm going to take good care of myself and be happy with myself. Instead of looking at yourself and being negative about yourself and being negative about your financial condition, being negative about your career, being negative about where you are now. You can be like God and get to work and say, I know that this will change. I know that things will get better. I will buy myself a nice wig and I will put it on. I'll buy myself a nice dress and I'll put it on. I'll buy, I will do my best. I will do my best. I will try my best. It's not easy, but I will try my best. But I will keep this positive, happy attitude that I will not let circumstance make me lose my joy lose my happiness I always encourage myself and go for it when you do that and you keep that lively attitude it is a non-verbal praise to God always stay lively no matter what you don't dwell on a lot of negative things to make you destroy the peace that you have in you but you always look for the brightness in even a dark place you always look for the positive you always look for the hope you always look for possibilities you always look for faith and you wrap yourself around it you don't talk like a sad case but you always stand 
and you step up and you put your confidence in God. It's a very beautiful thing. So that's what I want to finish our November praise with. That how do you see yourself? Do you like yourself? Do you like the house you live in? Do you like your financial condition? Do you like your looks? Do you like your job? All of that, the way you respond to all of the details of your life is your non-verbal praise. You have to learn to enjoy the little you have because it pleases God when you are looking at the bright side of everything and we're making that your attitude with God all things are possible so I want you to remember that anytime you stay lively anytime you you stay you keep a smile on your face anytime you you keep a, a, a praise in your heart anytime you conduct yourself in such a way that it's not only you that is going through the biggest problem in this world anytime you come across like you are not the only one dying then it's a non-verbal praise to God so I want you to learn to enjoy the little you have in your life learn to tell yourself I'm beautiful Learn to tell yourself, I am not a waste. Learn to tell yourself, I am not a half of a person. Learn to tell yourself, I am not handicapped. Learn to tell yourself, I am not, I am not a loser. Learn to tell yourself, my time has not passed. Learn to tell yourself that you are handsome. Learn to tell yourself, you are noble. Learn to tell yourself. You are attractive. Let me tell yourself you are intelligent. Whatever amount of dignity you have, let that shine through. Confidence is everything. Having a sense of worth is everything. God is pleased when you are putting up a very positive self-projection. God is happy when you are projecting the right image. Dress well is a non-verbal praise. You don't have to be rich to be happy. You don't have to be rich to be happy because God will supply your needs just trust him but keep a good attitude don't let your children stress you out to a point where you become something else don't let your husband stress you out to a point that you become something else don't let your wife stress you out to a point that you become something else Let nobody steal your joy. Then let not let don't let stress control your life. Do what makes you happy because it's a non-verbal praise. You are never going to have a perfect life. You're never going to have a perfect church. You're never going to have a perfect marriage. You're never going to have a perfect family. You're never going to have a perfect day. You're never going to have a perfect job. You're never going to have a perfect week. You're never going to have a perfect anything. But you got to have this thing that no matter what, I will keep a very lively and a very positive and a very... Uh, I'll, put a, I'll keep my smile on my face. 
I'll keep my smile on my face. I will keep my my joy. I won't sit down and let this life turn me into something I am not. I will remember that my attitude towards life is in my non-verbal praise. Rejoice and again I say rejoice. I want you to remember that the way you smile is your non-verbal praise. The way you talk is your non-verbal praise. The way you dress is your non-verbal praise. The way, you know, I'm telling you, if you continue to stay in that encouraging attitude, things will happen to you that you'll be amazed. You attract the way you project yourself. Make up your mind that you're going to put a smile on your face all the time. Make up your mind that you're going to not because you make up your mind that you will not allow sadness in your heart. Make up your mind that you're not going to allow sorrow in your heart. Make up your mind that you're not going to allow bitterness in your heart. Make up your mind that you're not going to allow defeated mentality in your heart. Make up your mind that you're not going to allow your mind and your heart to be filled with a sense of dreadness and unhappy and some depressing way of looking at life. Because that does not please God. There's time to get serious. There's time to fast. There's time to pray. There's time to seek after God. There's time to mourn before God. There's time to put ashes and ash and sit in and in 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 what sackcloth and cry and seek God for repentance. There's time for all of that. But at the end of the day, your life should be marked with a person who had a very healthy and a hopeful attitude and always smiling even in the midst of adversity eat okay eat something eat something find something to eat maybe you are you are you are hungry that's why you're always mad satisfy yourself a little so we can enjoy you What is wrong with you? Whatever is wrong, take care of yourself. We want to see you smile. What is bothering you? Tell your wife what is bothering you. Tell your husband what is bothering you. Why have you made your face the way your face is for all these weeks? Whatever is wrong, tell somebody. Have you seen people that have made their face mad? And 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 their DNA has mistaken that to be their normal face. And every time you see them, they are mad. So their default face is mad. No, don't be mad. I know there's time for everything, but you should always keep a very healthy sense of who you are and I believe it glorifies God so take care of yourself and live well and always remember if I find myself in a place where there's no smile on my face 
I'm not producing, I'm very praise to God. In Jesus' name, amen.